Yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. And today, minutes ago, we just got a new Hogwarts Legacy trailer and a new Hogwarts Legacy blog post. And we're going to react to it. Um, this is all from PlayStation. And so it's going to highlight the immersive aspects of playing Hogwarts Legacy on the PS5. So we're gonna to react to the trailer and the blog post and break it down. So without further ado, let's dive right on into the trailer. All right, here we go. Hogwarts Legacy PS5 next gen immersion. All right, all right, all right. No new footage. Explore the Wizarding World in stunning 4K. Yo, all right. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this, you can, sh oh my gosh, you can change the light bar according to your house. Oh, my and we paused doing Hufflepuff. Um, I'm a Hufflepuff for those of you guys that are aware. Uh, wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, the Gryffindor looks, I mean, the colors look good. The Ravenclaw blue is tough too. That's like the natural color. There's the Hufflepuff. We got the slither. The green is tough with the white. Oh my gosh, feel the sensation of flight. The haptic feedback. That is going to be insane with taking damage in game, riding stuff like this, even riding on the hippogriff or hopefully a dragon. That the haptic feedback is going to be insane. Like feeling the wind, hearing it. All in the controller. Feel the force of magic. Yo, adaptive trigger. So we knew that would be there. They have it with all their games. It's going to be even more. And this kind of confirms the R2 being um, how we use our spells, how we spell cast, basically, which is tough. Let's go, man. So R2 probably, so what, R1 maybe to lock on. L1, I believe we saw, was able to pick up other items. Oh my gosh. I still need to know how we'll be able to interchange spells uh, with the controller. Haptic feedback, especially in a, in a scene like this where your uh, magic connects, that's going to be, you're going to be feeling who's winning between your uh, character and the dark wizard or goblin, whoever it is. So you're going to be feeling that with the controller. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Seen this. Magic surround, 3D audio. Oh, that's tough. Oh my gosh. And we just got the ASMR video. So like this is, this is great marketing from the WB Avalanche team, Hogwarts Legacy team, PlayStation overall. Just like, hey, we got the ASMR video last week. Now we're also showing you, it's gonna be some 3D audio. So if you enjoyed the sounds, imagine just having that. And I'm assuming these are PlayStation headphones. So, uh, man, just the immersion aspect, sound, feel, Everything is going to be at your fingertips and in your ears playing Hogwarts Legacy on the PS5. And we got to confirm still, holiday 2022. Yo, it's coming out this year. I don't care what anybody says. Feel the magic. Oh, yo, they did a good job. They did a good job. All right, so we are now on the PlayStation blog that also uh, was released and dropped co to coincide with the trailer. And uh, this is written by Chandler Wood, again, community manager for uh, WB Avalanche and of course Hogwarts Legacy, uh, titled How Hogwarts Legacy Taps PS5 Features to Make Gameplay Feel Magical. Uh, do a wireless, so they have the trailer here. Dual Sense wireless control connects you directly with the wand, immersing you to in visuals and sounds. Uh, community manager Chandler Wood. With Hogwarts Legacy, we wanted to immerse you in the wizarding world like never before. Wand in hand, nothing is more important at Avalanche Software than making sure players feel like they are living in the world. PlayStation 5 allows us to take that immersion further as you build a legacy on your own. Now, uh, just a just to put this out there, you do not need a PS5 to enjoy this game. You will have fun, you will be immersed in this game with every system you have currently. We got some new footage, which yo. So just practicing the magic. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous that is. 
A Witcher Wizard should never be without a wand. His five dual wireless becomes an extension of your wand in Hogwarts Legacy, which makes sense. It's just control it. Like, you're in the game. This is your character. This is your story. It makes so much sense. With so many spells at your disposal, the adaptive triggers allow you to be flexible in combat. You feel the magical re <laughs> resistance as your fingertips. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, through every spell, whether finding, whether firing off uh, a basic cast or summoning the strength for a more powerful charm, spells will fill unique when you cast them thanks to haptic feedback providing a direct connection between the dual sense controller and your wand we specifically uh isolated these effects to the right side of the controller r2 to let the dual sense become an extension of the wand you hold in the game uh r2 has always been like a trigger for like first person shooters a lot of games deflect a spell with Portega, you'll feel the sizzling of the match, oh my gosh, so you'll feel it using the shield charm. It's like, what is it, the Black Lake? Like, firing spells off in there so you don't hurt anybody. Adaptive triggers and haptic feedback aren't just limited to spell casting and wand work. However, the dual sense controller has you uh, feel a variety of events <laughs> throughout the world, whether it's crushing ingredients with, whoa, that's awesome, that's awesome. In potions class, uh, feeling this <laughs> screech of a mandrake seedling or flying through the skies of the broom of river growth, the dual sense connects, yes. So you'll feel all of that, that is so crazy. And this. This is what they were talking about with the shield charm you'll feel that you'll feel all of that as we see here with a new character even a new scene it looks like a new enemy campsite we've got a new player design a slytherin oh my gosh love the hair we've also tapped into the dual assist controllers light to give you a unique bit of personalization that's where the controllers, uh, house colors come in. Uh, we're not flashing along with spells. So they flash with spells. Oh, that's sweet. Being cast or damaged being taken, the dual sense controller lights will pulse with the colors of your Hogwarts house. So it'll pulse uh, blue and bronze for Ravenclaw, scarlet and gold for Gryffindor, green and silver for Slytherin, and yellow and black. So it's not just one color. There's going to be two colors. The two, oh my gosh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, as they're showing the house banners here. Yo, we saw this scene when the player's going down the stairs in the gameplay trailer. So we just get a higher view of this. Visually, we've come a long way since the days of the beloved Hagrid on the original. <laughs> <laughs> if you get it, you get it. Uh, original PlayStation Hogwarts Legacy on PS5 takes you in Hogwarts and the surrounding areas in stunning 4K as well as a chance between uh, fidelity and performance graphics modes. This choice will allow you to create your preferred experience, whether it's prioritizing a high frame rate or visual fidelity. So you can play, okay, okay, how you uh, experience the game. PS5's con uh, consoles, Tempest 3D Audio Tech, put you in the heart of the wizarding world. Here to crackle the fire. We talked about this with the ASMR earlier. Uh, cast Incendio, potions, bubbling, and cauldrons, unique detailed soundscapes of each environment to really make you feel present. And if you play without headphones, you'll be treated to additional reversal sounds through the controller, which I've always loved that. Now, that's an option you can turn on and off in most games, so I'm assuming that's the same here. I uh, like the soft flap of, oh, Hippogriff's wings. Yo, the immersion. And again, we have a new scene. This might be in Hogsmeade or outside it. No, this isn't Hogsmeade. No, this isn't Hogsmeade. Uh, you got, <laughs> this is how we're going to fast travel because you see these type of uh, flames in uh, various locations. This is flu powder. Uh, that bus is the uh, person, the uh, witch who created flu powder. So, I mean, just little stuff like this, the designs, the feel, the, <sighs> the just stuff flying. I mean, it's, Immersion, immersion, immersion. You're going to see that a lot. Additionally, expect the PS5's ultra high speed SSD to provide quick loading times, uh, which I have to add to mine. How you choose to move from place to place, whether you take the scenic route or a broom or fast travel using the flu network, again, which is confirmed. Will also support the PS5 activity cards and game help features. Thrilled to connect you with the Wizarding World in a more immersive way than ever before, thanks to the PS5 and DualSense controller when Hogwarts Legacy launched. Watches. Again, holiday 2022. Let's go. Man, I might have to do a separate breakdown video just of the footage alone, but I wanted to give my initial reaction for you guys. 
just with this new trailer and all this stuff they're showing us and just a peek into what we will experience for us PlayStation 5 uh, users again. You don't need a PS5 to play this game. You can be as immersive as you, as you want playing on any other console or PC. Uh, and again, pre-orders are out so you can reserve the game now on whatever console you currently own or planning on getting. But um, I do have a PS5 right here and um, I have not opened it. I won't open it um, until the game. Uh, I want to be able to play both and experience opening both at the same time. So uh, I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting. But uh, nonetheless, what do you guys think? How you guys feel about the footage, uh, the reactions to just what you can expect playing the Hogwarts Legacy game coming holiday 2022 on the PlayStation 5. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk some Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna get out of here, put this video together. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, hanging out with your boy. Uh, be sure to like and lumos the subscribe button and notification bell. You miss out on more Hogwarts Legacy content. Also follow us on the various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. I hope you guys have a great uh, week. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.